Hi, in the previous lecture we've designed our database. We've created our tables, we've added our columns with its type and so on. In this lecture we will con connect this database to our Python code. We will also start fixing some issues in our UI design and we will start coding our project. So let's start. I have the project opened in PyTrar and here I'm gonna divide our project to some methods and I'm gonna co collect everything in OS method like all the buttons in our project will be put in one method and uh, every function or every feature will be a method so here I'm gonna create a new method with name of handle buttons for handling all the buttons operations and here I'm gonna create a new method for handling UI handle UI changes okay now I have two new methods one for handling UI changes and one for handling the buttons and I'm gonna use a library called MySQLDB you can install it and here first of all let's run our code and let's change add some changes to our UI first of all we need to hide this Dropbox and we need to connect every button with its step but first let's add a new button in this group box so I'm gonna add a sample button here you like this let's save this and now if we run our app we will see the new button okay and I'm gonna disable this from the option property sorry not the object inspector we need to open the property editor and for this group box we will disable it let's save if we run our code we will see it built in and disabled so let's enable it again and in the UI change I'm gonna create an, in, in our main class I'm gonna create two methods one for show themes and another one for hiding themes okay and the show themes I'm gonna take the object name of this group box and I'm gonna say self dot group box dot show and here in the height I'm gonna say self dot group box dot height so now we've added two new methods one to show this group box and one to hide this group box and we need to execute this hiding theme when we run our app so we will add it in the UI changes I'm gonna import this hiding themes yeah and we need to run or call this handle UI change and our constructor so that when we run our app this method is being called then when we call this method it will call hiding themes so now when we run our app the group box is hidden if we comment this we will see the group box okay we need to show the group box when we press on the themes button so here I'm gonna take this button this is push button 5 and here in the handle buttons I'm gonna say self dot handle push button 5 dot collect dot connect and we will connect it with self dot show themes like this and now we need to import this handle button and our constructor so I'm gonna say self dot handle buttons so now let's start if we press on this button we should see our group box if we press 
here is our group box we need to close it when we press this button so here we need to connect this button was our hiding method so I'm gonna say self dot push button dot collect dot connect self dot hiding themes so now when we run our app if we press this we can see the themes tab and if we press this we close it like this okay we need to connect this button every button with its tag so here I'm gonna say the open day sorry day today tab you know press press and the open box tab and I'm gonna type dev open users tab and we need another one for settings dev open settings tab just like this and let's add an, a new comment in here just like this and we will see opening tabs just like this here if we need to open this tab we first need to connect every button with each tab so I'm gonna connect this button self dot push button dot click dot connect self dot open day to day tab and this button box was S tab so we will connect it with open box tab open box tab and the third button for users when I say self dot collect dot connect self dot open user step the fourth one the settings so we're gonna say self dot push button four dot collect dot connect self dot open settings step like this okay so now if we press every one of these buttons it will execute its function but in the function we need to navigate from one tab to another so we will get the object name of our tab widget and here we can see self.tabwidget.current index equal to zero so if we press this this will make the tab widget to the zero index so let's run this let's hit this we got an error object has no attribute current index so it's current index here let's run this and here if we press this we got another error current index of self too many arguments so let's take a look at the code sorry this set set current index to zero here yeah, let's run this and if we in here and tab two do if we press this button we should see the first tab yeah. now if we in here it works okay so let's do this on the other tabs so i'm gonna say self dot tab widget set index to 1 and here to 2 and here to 3 if we run our code now we can move from one tab to another using these buttons so we need to hide this tab board. so 
So here I'm gonna go to the handle UI changes. I'm gonna say select dot tab widget. Sorry, you need to take yeah, the object name. So self the tab widget dot tab port that set visible with faults. Let's run. Yeah, let's run our code. There is no tab port, but we can only move from one tab to another using these buttons. So now, if we open this data to operations, we can see this, and if we move to box, we can see this. Users, we can see this. Settings, we can see this. We can add publisher, categories, author, and so on. And if we open themes in anywhere, we can see the themes. Okay, now everything is working fine. We need to do what? We need to connect to our database. So we need here let's add a new comment like this and first of all this is let's say box and if you open the box tab we need to add a new book we need to edit or delete a book so we have four operations one for adding one for searching one for editing and one for deleting so here I'm gonna say dev add new book and dev search books dev edit books and dev delete books And we will do this, we'll take this comments and put it in here. And in here we're gonna see users. So for users, we have add user, a check user, and we need to edit user data. So we need we had we have three operations. So we're gonna see dev add new user dev login for user dev edit user awesome so now everything is working fine we just need to start coding every one of these methods and we will do this in the next lecture see you in the next lecture